This is Sonia Schreier Norris, Project Coordinator for PLOWD at the Library of Michigan. Thank you for joining me for a short PLOWD specific tutorial on looking good on the web. Today we're going to be talking about what you have control over as far as how your PLOWD site displays on the web and what you don't have control over. In particular, we're going to be talking about how Google, Bing, and Yahoo represent your site, and we're going to be talking about the Google Business Profile. We'll be using two Michigan libraries as examples, the Buchanan Area District Library and the Reed City District Library. So first, let's start off with the Buchanan District Library. This is how their site normally displays. If we go over to Google and do a simple search for Buchanan District Library, you'll see that there is some summary information underneath the main areas. You don't have control over which of the subheadings the search engines are going to pull up. It is generally based on popularity. You'll notice that the main summary is the library is excited to now offer keyword searchable issues of the Berrien County record. If you go back to the Buchanan District Library's website, you'll see that they are actually pulling that from a portion of the homepage down here. That may or may not be the most important thing that they want to represent about their site. If we go over to Bing, you can see that they are doing the same thing and Yahoo is also doing the same thing. That is the information that is most popularly being represented. If we go back to Google, you can see some of the subheadings. For instance, in the local history room, one of the items that it's bringing up is a PDF document that may or may not be the most important thing about the local history room. Let's talk for a moment about how you can control what appears in this summary information. I'm going to use the Michigan Plowed Home as an example. If you come to this site, you can see that I have summary information for my pages. If you go into edit, you have always have a summary field. For my homepage, I say websites for over 100 Michigan libraries provided by vendor and fold systems, et cetera, et cetera. If we go over to a Google search for the Michigan Plowed Home, we can see that that information is what is being represented as the summary. You do have control over that summary information. I would recommend using the summary field whenever you want to have control over how the search engines are representing the content on your page. The next item we're going to talk about is the Google Business Profile. So if we come over here to the Reed City Area District Library, you can see what you're probably pretty used to recognizing on a Google search results page, and that is this information over here. Not only is it a quick review of your site. It also includes your hours, your phone number, events, and it has the ability to include questions and answers. You have control over this in Google. All you need to do is set up and confirm a Google business profile. Then you can include things like questions and answers, holiday hours, change your photos, information like that. If you Google uh, Google Business Profile, you come up with this page, and I'm going to walk you through real quickly how to set up one of these. So I'm going to click on Manage Now. I'm going to set this up for the Plowed homepage. I'm going to say Michigan Plowed. Next. Do you want to add a location customers can visit? I'm going to say yes. 702 West Kalamazoo Street. Excuse my typing. Lansing, Michigan, 48911. And next, this is the Library of Michigan. It is a library. 
I'm going to change the contact phone to my own line rather than the reference desk line. Change the website URL. Next. Once I have finished this, it will ask me to confirm it. And then after that has happened, I will be able to include and control information over on this side of the screen for Michigan's plowed home. These are some pretty simple and low hanging pieces of fruit that you can use to control how you better display your website on Google, Bing, and Yahoo. It's important to pay attention to because many people are going to use those search engines to come to your site rather than knowing the immediate address for how to reach you. That concludes this video on looking good on the web. I hope you've discovered some takeaways that you can apply to your own site. This project was made possible in part by the Institute of Museum and Library Services. Have a great day.